Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so now that you have taken pages and pages of copious notes about this week's trick, now we need to turn this into an answer to the TWQ. So the TWQ will, of course, go at the top of your portfolio. What did it mean to be American for the English and indigenous people during colonization? It's due on the 18th, so there's the due date. And I have the sentence starters, but I placed them in my own portfolio. Added more pictures. Um, but the first thing you want to understand is that you want to use the vocabulary that you wrote down in your notebook. Words like in the English, colonize. Oops, I'm trying to bold the vocabulary here. Um, Eastern Atlantic, coast, Americas, the word evidence, because remember that's academic history language, English colonizers, and then mm. the New England region, English in the middle colonies, the southern colonies. I'm really including the notes that I took to write a beautiful historical, uh, historically accurate response. And as you can see, when I talk about the Native Americans in this essay, I'm going to list the three groups that I studied, the Wampanoag, the Leni Lenape, and the Powhatan. And each of those groups were from one of those regions in the colonies. So the sentence starters are based on the idea that you took notes about the three different colonies, the English, uh, the New England, the middle and the southern colonies, and that in each of those English slash British colonies, each of them, uh, there was a group of Native Americans mm -hmm. that were affected and also did, of course, they had their own agency as, uh, as Native Americans at the time of colonization. And I made sure that I talked about each one of them. That will make an excellent response. Now, I start my essay by talking about the English, and then I go into my second paragraph where I speak about the Native Americans. And then in my conclusion, I'm going to talk about their differences and similarities because when you have two groups and the question is asking you about two groups and what it meant to be American, a great way to write about that is compare and contrast. So I am mostly contrasting here and not using much comparison, but in the conclusion, if you're sort of, you know, for a conclusion, oftentimes people get stuck, you can talk about their similarities. You can say that there's some differences and similarities, or maybe you choose one or the other. Since you speak mostly, I, I since I wrote mostly in the top two paragraphs about um, their differences, I might end on a con the conclusion on their similarities. Um, you know, it's really up to you how you structure that. But in the conclusion, by focusing on the comparing and contrasting, it actually allows you to speak about one thing mostly in the essay, and then you have something to write about in the conclusion, which a lot of people usually struggle with is, well, I just said everything in my essay. What do I say in my conclusion? Um, I didn't put an introduction paragraph in this one because it really is a pretty... It's a straightforward response. I'm not asking you to write me an introduction for this, but I would expect at least a conclusion because that first paragraph where I speak about the English, it really just, I just dive right into answering the question about what did it mean to be American for the English and indigenous people? So that first sentence where it says, when the English first began to colonize the Eastern Atlantic coast of the Americas, at first they blank, but then they did what? So I would, where those dot dots are, you would fill in, if you're using my sentence starter, you would fill in what you think um, or what happened. Now, I think that's a perfectly good introduction. And even though you're jumping right into the first group of people, that's fine for a, a weekly TWQ, that's okay. Now, if it was a formal five paragraph essay, you'd want to have some sort of introduction with some background information. But um, for this, it's fine. Uh, hopefully that's helpful. I think that turning your notes into an essay really is about making sure that you're talking about what you took notes on. The question is 
that I asked um, is uh, you can only answer it really by taking those notes and then thinking about those notes and making some inferences. So if you have any questions, please email me. Yes, if you want to use some of the sentence starters and not all, that's fine as well. And have a great day.